Good morning. Welcome back to At The Bluff. Uh, I have not made a video in quite a while. Um, just things have been super busy and I have not made the time. Uh, to catch you guys all up, we now have turf on our baseball fields. We have nine baseball fields here, four are infield turf, outfield grass, and the other five are all turf. Uh, so our current project, um, before in these large areas, we had mulch beds with ash trees. Uh, we were advised that because of the turf, we would not want to have any tree litter or mulch around the turf. That would cause a lot of issues and be dirty and hard to clean up. Therefore, I decided to go ahead and cut all the trees out, as you can see, and go back with, just kind of strip them all out, clean them up, and then end up putting gravel down and turfing them. So we had a lot of scrap left over turf from the fields. So the five plex on the other side, we ended up going ahead and doing that this spring before game started. Now we actually have time to go ahead and do the fourplex over here. So we have four big turf areas, or will be turf areas. One's over there, one's right here, the other one's right there, and the fourth one's on the other side of the building. So we went into the skid loader and dug all the dirt out, all the mulch, all the tree roots. And then now I'm going back and I'm putting a, a 3 8 gravel down and we'll spread that all out and make it as even and uh, smooth as possible, compact it. And then we'll have the turf crew, Mid America Sports Construction. They did our fields. They'll come out hopefully next week and they'll actually lay down all of the turf, finish it, throw on some sand on top. And then these will be nice, clean, and we won't have any issues with debris on the fields or uh, just a mess to clean up after rains, after winds, um, wind blows, all that. That will make a mess with the turf or the mulch. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing now. Um, also, we will at some point this winter or next spring tear these small mulch areas out. There are one of them behind each dugout. They were kind of pointless, in my opinion. Um, there are never anything planted there. They were just mulched areas. Um, as you can kind of see there, it just created a lot of litter with the dugouts and everything, and there's a mess. So my plan is to go ahead and cut these out. Um, use the same thing. The skid loader, just go down, dig them out to probably three to four inches, possibly a little bit deeper. Um, put down a layer of AB3 crush and run to be a good uh, base layer and then pour asphalt over them to match the rest of the complex. Um, uh, beyond that, that is about all I have as an update right now. We will be doing the rest of the work today, tomorrow and Friday and then Turf Crew will be here next week and I will hopefully have a video or add to this one the rest of the project. Just a little uh, extra information. That is the complex we're in right now. That is the other one. Um, pretty cool sign. We all got field sponsors now and we're now labeled Capital Federal Sports Complex of Liberty instead of Fountain Bluff. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will get back to you soon. So here I am in the parking lot where we had our gravel dumped. I was budgeting for about 50 tons of gravel. Uh, this is 3 8 or chat. Um, I was hoping based on our last project that I took up 50 to 60 tons. Um, we ended up having 80 dumped, and I think we'll need about 85 or 90 to finish the project out. Um, I just, depending on how we cut the mulch beds out, depends on how much gravel it took. This complex had a lot bigger root balls on the trees, so I think that had a lot to do with how much area we had to cover um but besides that no i'm just waiting on 
one of our drivers to get back and load his John Deere Pro Gator up. It was the fastest and simplest way for us to get our gravel into the complex. We do have a dump truck, but the tight squeezes and the versatility of the Gator is just, it was, this made more sense. So our biggest issue with these Gators is their ability to spread weight out. Um, the payload is rated at 2,000 pounds, um, but it, they're pretty finicky. Um, this is our older Pro Gator. It's original. It's a 2002, and it can hold way more weight than our 2015 model of the same thing. They're just kind of weird on how they spread the weight out, and here is my next section. Fast forward to the next day. It is now Thursday. We are still working on the mulch beds. We've got three of them done with the box blade, spinning them out. Now we have our compactor going on them. Uh, it's very important to get this rock compacted to where it's a nice base layer that's smooth, safe to walk on, um, and will not hold water in certain areas. So. If we had big dips or low spots in the middle, then water will pool there. When water pools, it'll settle even more and end up creating hazards, and then we'd have to go back and fix it at a later time. None of that is, uh, none of that we want to do, so we try to do the best we can preparing it. So once we got all the gravel dumped, we have a Toro Sampro box blade. That is right there. Um, so he's going around with the box blade with it on, um, just barely moving piles around. It's on float. So the blade itself will actually rise and low, uh, lower with the grade and just make it all smooth. Once that is done, that is when we go ahead and compact, like I said a while ago. Once the compacting is done, you can tell um, it's a lot firmer to walk on and not loose like it was previously. Um, the big thing with the turf is the transition from turf to asphalt on the edges. So that is what um, we have to go through the rake and then re-tamp, recompact to where, where the asphalt meets the gravel. The gravel is an inch lower than the asphalt. So imagine if I'll use this as a gauge. So say in here is a gravel, and this is an asphalt edge. You want that gravel to be an inch below, right about there, so that turf will come right in on top and sit, be completely level and smooth, so there's not a trip hazard. Um, uh, we had a little delay yesterday. We lost two or three hours in the afternoon because our box blade broke down, the Sampro. Um, uh, luckily, unluckily, it was just a starter, kind of a, uh, blew its bolts and fell out. Um, not great, but the starter is still intact and we reinstalled it this morning and it seems to be working just fine. Um, other than that, that is probably all I'm gonna have for you guys. Um, we'll go take a quick look at this one that's being compacted so you can see an idea. Uh, I would like to get this video pushed out in either tonight or tomorrow and then I'll come with another video next week that has the hopefully finished product or at least this process of getting the turf down.